celebration for the 33 years I have been on this earth. I know, crazy. I am 34 today on my birthday, December 10th. Ah, uh, so crazy to say that I'm 34. But last week I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God. I'm a woman now <laughs> and I've been wearing my hair really big like a woman. There is just a way to live life and for some reason there's just not a lot of good guide. These are 33 things that I feel I've implemented in my life. These are just 33 things I want to share with you. Number one, forgiveness is a portal. Always forgive. It's the only way you can get to the next step. Document your life and observations. Oh, yeah. Leave three moments after your high note. Don't stay longer because that's when the energy sucking happens. Leave with pristine vibes. Dress with intention. No matter where you are going, what you are doing, dress intentionally. Audit your influence. So just be mindful of what you're looking at every day. Care deeply about your freedom. You'll be a much more happier person and thus you will care about other people's freedom too. Celebrate every meal. Whether you have made a delicious soup with tons of nourishing ingredients just blended together, going out to eat with your sweetie, make it a date night every time, why not? Cultivate stillness to metabolize experiences. Let me say that again, cultivate stillness to metabolize experience. We got a lot of stuff coming in at us day in, day out. And when I say still, I don't mean scrolling on Instagram, browsing whatever's on the TV, trying to find something to watch. Like, no, that's not stillness. When I say stillness, I mean like really be with yourself. Number nine, deep clean your life in sections. Do your closet one day. Do a specific drawer in your kitchen that's bothering you one day. Do it in sections. You don't have to do it all at once. Be present, don't anticipate. <sighs> Number 11, throw the party that you want to be invited to. Cultivate the good experience that makes you feel safe to socialize. Number 12, convenience is cheap. Food delivery is seriously the most unchic thing ever. Make people feel good being around you. When you are warm to them, they eventually thaw out and it just feels good. I speak from my experience in LA. A lot of cool looking people, but cool people are usually quite cold and not very warm. Move your body every day. Stretch for a minute before sleeping. Go on a 10 minute walk. Go to a boxing class. Take the journey back to yourself once a day. I guess this is kind of like cultivating stillness, but this is just so important to me that I'm gonna say it again in a different way. Be at the tip of the tongue, not on the nose. Don't ever be so literal. I find that the most fascinating, interesting people live fascinating, interesting lives because they themselves are interested and fascinated in the world. When people take their identity so seriously or their hobby so seriously that it becomes their identity, they're, it's just like two on the nose, you know? Like people who are interesting are on the tip of the tongue. Like you can't quite place them. They don't have a label. They don't have like a specific style that you can quite say. I just think that it's Sag season. So of course this rule makes a lot of sense, but Know all the rules and break them subtly. It is not chic to break rules because you are unaware of the rules. Walk after a big meal. Having a dog in my life has healed me in so many ways and one of those ways is just this unity to walk every single day. Progress with warmth. To be warm is to have an open heart. And when you have an open heart, you can open other people's hearts too. Number 20, combat writer's block with list. 21, treat yourself like a guest in your home. I could do a whole other video on that. 22, play a silent game of matching your breath or steps. Number 23, do it for yourself. You will always feel much better when you do. Authenticity is actually to just be that the exterior elements of the world doesn't pollute and cloud your judgment and you don't see yourself in your life through the lens of an amorphous other, but you can just be as you are. And that is authenticity. Act as if everybody already loves you. You just gotta act how you want people to see you. And if you act like everyone already adores you, guess what? They're going to adore you. Magic, 
magic happens. Burn a homecoming incense. I just believe that the smoke really purifies the vibe and keeps everything feeling alive. When in doubt, belt it. Number 27, elegance is invisible. Elegant solutions, elegant dressing, elegant behavior. It's so invisible because it feels exactly right. Do not resist, let it pass. Do not resist, let it pass. Thank people who see you. People who are serving you, see you. Giving you the right away, sees you. Thank people who see you. And do it with eye contact. It is safe to be seen. Be open to the best and closed to the undesirable. Hype your people up. People should know that when we're talking good things about them, that they know it. Last but not least, number 33. Intention is the architect. You can architect your reality in any way so long as you are absolutely clear about your intentions. But when we understand people's intentions, we can learn to empathize. And when we empathize, like I said, people warm back up. And when people warm back up, they are willing to see you if you're willing to see them. It's all, all of this is still kind of one universal language and that is not taking things so seriously and being open and curious. That's all, that's all life is about. This helicopter came at a perfectly good time because I hope you enjoyed that. And I thank you so much for orbiting my world, being a part of this. And I hope that there's some nuggets in here that sat with you. If so, big kiss, big love. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.